Hello, I'm Mrs. Dean from Calm Dean and I'm going to read you a story today and the story is The Snail and the Whale and it's by Julia Donaldson and Alex Scheffler and I have got a little friend with me today who wanted to read the story. Do you want to see who it is? He's going to pop up. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Look at that grumpy face. Oh my goodness, what a grumpy face, but he's so much fun. So he's going to do a little bit of reading with us and I wonder if he's going to like the story. And if you will. Shall we get going? So I'm going to put my glasses on because the writing is so small for this book. There we go. Can you see it? Okay now. Oops. This is a tale of a tiny snail and a great big grey blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot and this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed, The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. These are the other snails in the flock, who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock, and said to the snail with the itchy foot, Be quiet, don't wriggle, sit still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed, then cried, I've got it, I'll hitch a lift. This is the trail of the tiny snail, that's a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, Lift wanted around the world. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come sail with me. That looks nice, doesn't it? I think I'd quite like to be sitting up there. This is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail on his tail. There he is, just super tiny. To tiring ice icebergs and far off lands. How many penguins can you see? Oh, you could put the video back and see if you were right. With fiery mountains and golden sands. And a little turtle, just like yesterday's turtle. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed. The tiny snail on the tail of the whale. These are the caves beneath the waves where stripy fish had feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam round the whale and the snail on his tail. And I can see he's terribly tiny, but he looks like he's still smiling. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm. With zigzag lightning flashing and frightening, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. He's clinging on. And as she gazed at the sky, the sea, the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand, she gazed and gazed, amazed by it all, and she said to the whale, I feel so small. But then came the day the whale lost his way. These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. This is the tide slipping away. This is bad news, isn't it? Because... Whales live in the sea. He can't live without the sea. Oh dear. Oh no. And this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick, off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail fell helpless and terribly small. Then I've got it, she cried and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing for children ch children in from their play. 
This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. Oh, grumpy teacher. This is the board as black as soup. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail. The teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail. A silvery trail saying, save the whale. Mm. These are the children running from school, fetching the fireman, digging a pool, squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. They're going to save him, aren't they? I hope. Ah, the tide is coming into the bay. And these are the villagers shouting hooray as the whale and the snail travel safely away. There they are. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said, how time's flown and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice caves and coral caves and shooting stars in enormous waves and how the snail so small and frail with her looping curly silvery trail saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail after snail. If you look down here you can see all the little snails going for a little ride on the whale's tail. Oh, Mr. Puffo, Mr. Grumpy Puffo, he says he did enjoy the story. He says, but he's still a little bit grumpy because that's how he was made. He says he can't change his face, but inside he feels quite happy. And I think little Puffo could go sit on the tail's snails, whoa, on the whale's tail as well. There he is. He's going to go for a little ride in the journey. So I hope you enjoyed your story today and I hope you're doing well and I hope we all get to see each other soon and Mr Grumpy Puffo would like to say bounce, 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 bounce. Bye.